Hey yo, it's a prologue. Uh, it's kind of weird I know, but uh, basically the first like five minutes are kind of blurry. I just want to warn you guys. It's not a big deal. Oh, I mean, I hope it's not. So uh, enjoy the video, guys. Oh, hey, how are you? Hey, yo, what's Adam? What's going on? Today is uh, Thursday, September 1st, the first uh, day of September, and it's 2016, and uh, coming at you live. Had a good time today. Uh, nice day. Beautiful, beautiful day. It's uh, it's later than usual. I didn't have the uh, camera mount, so I couldn't film. But hey, I'm here now, and that's all that matters. Hope you enjoyed uh, this year's episode. Tomorrow, I'll probably have a similar one. We got a, the first the first home game for uh, La Quinta Blackhawks football, and uh, hopefully, it should be pretty fun. It should be exciting. Uh, but yeah, so. I find whatever excuse I can to, uh, to film. I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna go get some gas right now. Yeah, I'll pick up some ice cream because uh, I, I sparked a debate recently in my uh, in my math class when I when I mentioned that uh, I eat ice cream, ice cream with a fork, and many people think that's abnormal. While I think it's just the more effective and superior way as to uh, eating an ice cream or ice cream. Woo! And uh, so, so basically, I mean, I might, I might make an entire video just to show to prove that forks are uh, more, much more effective. And my main argument with that is that uh, you see, forks have four prongs. Okay, each of those prongs is sharp, very sharp. Much sharper than that of a spoon, which is round. And uh, I'm not sure if you guys know this. I'm assuming you guys are pretty smart, but uh, see, ice cream when it's not solid, it's or when it's on its frozen or cold state, it tends to melt. So as soon as that ice cream is exposed to the outer air, it's gonna melt on the spoon, making it a lubricant making it slippery. It's going to slip off the spoon. If, if I have a... Also, actually, I'd like to add that the surface area of the spoon um, is usually hotter. See, when you're when it's pronged, it's it's there's gaps like the cool the cool air under it, so it stays cold longer while on the wolf's on the on the uh, fork. But uh, on the spoon, yeah, it'll slip right off. And that's a fact. So, uh, my, but like I said, my main argument is that uh, it'll slip right off, and I've had many experiences where my ice cream does, in fact, slip right off and land on my shirt, on the couch, you know, on my dog. So I'd also like to add with that um, with the fork, see, when it, it's gripped, right, and when it does melt, it melts on the prongs, giving it some type of railing, so you can move it side to side, it won't, it won't fall off at all and uh, that's the beauty behind it the genius behind it I'm tired of people telling me a spoon's the right way to go I'm tired of getting spoons when I get ice cream somewhere like like Baskin Robbins or Cold Stone because it's ineffective and and they're plastic too making it you know even less less than that um that was good uh, some guy's uh, car broke down, getting towed. But anyways, so I mean that's that's, that's all I got to say about that. It's it's easy to say it's better. Forks are way better. I swear I don't get it. I don't get why people get look at me with, like I'm stupid when I say that that forks are better. And they say what do you see? They they were exposed to the social norm of using a spoon since they were young. You know, <laughs> for ice cream at least. So that's all they use it for. But, I don't know. I'm gonna get gas right now, I'll come back to you guys and talk to you guys. Maybe I'll finish what I'm talking about now after I uh, gas up, so. All right, I'm back, all right? I'm back. Gotta get, I, gotta, I gotta breathe, I gotta let my, hit my uh, head, head roll, think about uh, that, what I've been saying. And you know what? I got even more mad <laughs> thinking about that, okay? You know why? Because, uh, 
Yeah, so I really figured out this time, I, I came up with a bit of a comparison. A bit of a comparison to why um, forks are better. Because wouldn't you look at me funny, say, if I was saying, I don't know, if I was eating a, uh, I don't know, a, if I was eating a steak, a full, full steak, all right? Big old ribeye steak. A big steak. And with a spoon and a knife, instead of a fork and a knife, you'd be like, well, look at this guy, what a freak, right? Well, that's basically like eating ice cream with a spoon, but it's, it's just socially different. If we started using, if we started, <laughs> if we started you using spoons to eat steaks, you'd be weirded using a fork. See, see, uh, say a steak solid, okay? Ice cream in its solid state is solid. So sh surely, like, surely the fork, see the reason you wouldn't use, okay, I'm, I'm, an old gang, I'm going everywhere, but you wouldn't use a spoon on a steak because it'd slip out, it's not sharp. Exact same reason I've been saying the whole time. Ice cream's even worse because it, it, it has its own lubricant. It's, it, it in itself is a lubricant that makes it slip off the spoon like nothing. And, uh, yeah, so it doesn't stick. Another reason, because, you know, you cut the steak. <laughs> you cut the steak, right? You hit it with the knife or the fork. And then, from there, you can hold it like that on the end of it. And then you could, uh... Eat, eat the steak, okay? You can eat the steak, all right? See, with the spoon, you have to balance it. You have to make sure it's not gonna slip off and fall onto your lap. Get a big stain on your new shorts, okay? See, same thing with the ice cream. That's all I've been trying to say the whole time. See, in a solid state, it's not gonna come off that fork. It never will. The spoon, you still have to worry with it, whether it's in its liquid form or its frozen form. That's all I gotta say about that, okay? I'm done with that, I'm done talking about that, and I hope it's cleared up. I'll make a visual if you guys want me to. So, um, you know, I'm going to make a visual this weekend. I'll make a visual, place it on my channel, okay? So that's done, that's over and done with, all right? But now on happier thoughts, okay? I got gas, 20 bucks, fill up my tank. I'm happy about that. I actually spent $20.02 to be exact. But, um, that's my life, and uh, don't you forget. No doubt. I hope they don't sue me. Well, actually, no. They say uh, it's my life, not that's my life. But yeah. So yeah, I'm heading home. I'm gonna finish up my homework that I don't really have much of. And uh, hopefully, not think too much more about the ice cream because it's, it's getting all over my head that people think I'm a freak. But I'm perfectly sane. You know what? CBS is right there. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna turn around and get some ice cream. That's what I wouldn't do. I'm gonna get some ice cream. What flavor you guys want, huh? Huh? What, what flavor do you guys with the spoons like to get, huh? What, which one will stay cold the longest so you don't have to slip off the spoon, huh? <laughs> Woo! I should've just done a U-turn. Uh, wait. No, I'm good. Alright. So I'll be back. Oh, I'll be back and I'll show you everything. I will show you who is right and who is wrong. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go home. This, that video won't be up till later because I don't feel like wasting my time today telling you guys that my way of eating ice cream is better. Actually, it was introduced to me by my father, who I'm, I'm, I'm glad he was able to think for himself. I did it. I uh, walked in CVS looking like a no-life freak for buying myself. I, walking in getting ice cream looking like a son of a gun. Went in, bought some ice cream, just ice cream, and used my CVS card on it. I guess I know that's kind of smart financially, but personally, it makes me feel like a dingus. But you know, I don't care, because I'm going to show you guys who's right. I got Neapolitan to show you guys all the flavors of the rainbow. And uh, one more thing I also like to add, it's my life, wasn't no doubt. Well, I mean, it was, it was, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. They covered it. It was a talk, talk, an 80s pop 
British dude. Anyways, yeah, so I'm gonna try this ice cream out, film it, and uh, give you guys some information that you may have not known. And I'm fine with that, I'm fine with you guys not knowing. I'm just kind of upset, frustrated. But, um, sorry this might be a longer, longer vlog. But uh, I think it's worth it. Well worth it. And, uh, basketball squeaking over here. So, yeah. Uh, until then, until, I don't know, tomorrow. See you later. Alright? Love you guys. Love my fans, you know that. I know I might, I might be giving you a hard time because, you know, the ice cream thing, but. I not I didn't think I'd have a rant up so quick. It's only it's only the first week I'm already ranting about nothing. Oh something to me, but Oh, it's the jug. Anyways, so the ranting about nothing. Um you're looking at me funny. Anyway, uh I'll get back to you guys later, alright? Sorry about the rant again. That shouldn't have happened, alright? Or I guess, I mean, you know, you know. I guess another reason why I'm kind of mad is probably because my sandals are wearing sandals. I don't, I don't care, right? So, see you guys later. Uh, enjoy the rest of your night, or whenever you're watching this, right? Peace on earth, everybody. Love you.